Ready. It's that time of year again. It's time to sit under a dead tree and eat candy out of socks. <laughs> I hope they're clean. <laughs> we made a sign to celebrate. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and we use the dry brush technique. We'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it a great? That's what we do on this channel every week. Christmas is in the air. And so is the flu, so wash your hands. <laughs> but this week, we're making a Merry Christmas front porch welcome sign. It's gonna have two layers of paint, some vinyl, very few cuts, two cuts, and we're gluing it together. Yes, it's gonna be like a reverse stencil this time, so we are gonna use letters, but we're gonna actually use them to reveal the paint underneath. We're gonna peel them up and there'll be paint underneath, so. Voila. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. It'll be cool, it'll be cool. <laughs> Step one, make it cuts. We're gonna cut this little picket that we picked up, this, what is it, Gregorian? I think it's Gothic. Gregory? Gothic. I think it was Gothic. I think it's called Gothic then. They're like a dollar. It's like a dollar, yeah. We're gonna turn this into this. Two 11 inch pieces. We also picked up a dog-eared piece, two pieces. The dog-eared, yes. right? Yes, yeah. dog-eared fence pickets. And they're already pressure treated, so they're already treated for outdoors. And so is this little, the gothic-eared one, or gothic-tipped one, um, is also pressure treated for outdoors. And we get a lot of questions around, do we sand these? Uh, no, they're already pressure treated. We don't bother to sand them. It's supposed to be kind of that country. Rustic rustic look so we just paint right over them just as they are and once we put the red down and then we're going to distress the white a little bit that roughness actually helps it peek through and make it look even cooler yeah step two we're gonna gorilla glue them together we're not gonna use any nails brad is safe this week <laughs> right. brad take the week off <laughs> we're just gonna gorilla glue them together this is the original Gorilla Glue, not the wood Gorilla Glue. Yes. This stuff foams up and gets in those crevices, so if there's a gap in your board, it'll fill it in and keep it nice and tight together. And we're gonna go ahead and glue them before we paint so that you're gluing wood to wood. Yeah. 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 Right on. <laughs> right on. <laughs> So I cut my stencil at 57 and I think I'm going to leave about 58 in between the top board, the top attached board and the bottom attached board. So yes, leave it like this and then take me down there. Take me down. Are you going to do a little gun, Guns N' Roses? Oh. Paradise. Take me down to the Welcome Sign City. <laughs> We're just gonna clamp it. Clamp them if you got them. Kim likes to over clamp. She really gets in my other. <laughs> like She Hulk. Snapping boards. Crack, crack. <laughs> I don't want them to go anywhere. I wanna make sure that glue is tight. Rotating Coming around. around. Coming around. <laughs> We might want to double check yours. That was a lot of motion. A lot of motion. Motion in the ocean. Maybe I should clamp this one this way? No, we can see how they do once we clamp them. All right. We'll give this one, one full hour to do its magic, to cure, to glue. It says one to two hours, but in one hour, it's stuck. You can unclamp it and continue painting. So continue. All right, one let's hour. Let's do that. We're just kidding. <laughs> Step three. We're gonna paint it red, but before we paint it red, we have to clean up some glue globs. We got some uh, gooey, gluey 
puffer pieces that we're gonna clean out. Puffer pieces. Puffer pieces. So our little puffer pieces. Where? Man down. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> Brad wasn't safe this week. Uh, the puffer pieces are easy to get off. They are easiest to get off when the glue is completely dry. Ours is only about an hour dry, so. So it's still a little tacky. Yeah, they're a little bit soft still. But after like two hours, it's like hard foam, like styrofoam. Chip it right off. Yeah, chips right off. We're gonna use some chalk paint. Are we gonna go till we run out? Is that what we're thinking? Yeah, this one's like a, I don't know, whichever one. These are both, one's a deco art chalk paint and the other is... Home folk art. Yeah, folk art. This one's cameo. This one's... Uh, Pioneer Red. Pioneer Red. I think, let me see, this cameo looks a little bit darker. Oh. Ooh, that, ew, no, never mind. Looks a little clumpy in looks there. Looks like we'll be going with this one. <laughs> Well, that's drying. We're gonna go cut out our vinyl and get our letters ready. Step four. Now we're gonna lay down the vinyl. So we cut out the vinyl using our Cricut. It's just this uh, Oracle 651. And then we weeded it. We reverse weeded it. Added the transfer tape. Now we're gonna transfer it to the board. Well, I think this is like regular weeding, but we're gonna reverse the image with the paint. Uh, it's weeding, whatever, yeah, it is. whatever it is. We left the letters, the letters are going down. <laughs> So we got so far. Looks pretty cool with the black letters. I'd almost leave it with the black letters. No, it looks good. I think you could add a bow on here and it would look great. But yeah. I want to go with that technique that we talked about because I think it'll look even better. All right, we're gonna try to do a bright, a dry brush. Did I just swipe this over the lid? Look. Yeah. Making a mess. Oh my gosh, this one too. Oh my gosh, hold on, I got paint everywhere. Paint everywhere. I got just a little bit on the brush, just a teeny bit. They gliding over it. So I don't know if you can see. Maybe you have to get your phone. You see how we're just lightly painting it? Just barely getting it wet. Just dragging it all through. This is not sped up, it's real time. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Step six, we're gonna pull up the vinyl, see if we can actually see these letters. Moment of truth, babe, moment of truth. So, bam! That's what we got so far! 
Merry Christmas. Step seven. Now we add the accents. <laughs> okay, so I started making my bow. I finished making my bow. I've got like six or seven little loops here. It's just a bigger bow. And we're going to put that at the top. And how much of this? All of it. No, I think I'm going to use it to wrap around and tie it to the back. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. That way I can change the bow. Yeah. We which know I will we like never quick change. <laughs> which I will you never do it. because it's Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> well, buffalo plaid might be out in a couple of years, but Merry Christmas is always in. It is always in. You know what I would like? A finger back here. Can you help me with this? Ow! Get your oh. finger out of there! <laughs> You want some of these pine cones? Yes, and so I bought these little pine accents, which I thought we could hot glue. Bam! That's what we got. Oops, sorry, babe. <laughs> Son of a nutcracker, that thing looks hot. Hit that like button if you like this video. Leave us a comment. Tell us if you liked how the lettering came out. Tell us if you'd do something different. Show us if you went ahead and made one of your own. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Until next week, you guys can watch something over here, <laughs> over this way, and hit that subscribe button and that bell, because we do this every week. <laughs>